This eight year plan will take Oklahoma from being one of the worst states in the nation in terms of deficient bridges to being one of the best. It will also improve countless county bridges and expand a large section of the Creek Turnpike. Right now, we currently have 706 currently structurally deficient bridges on our state highway system in Oklahoma, and that's way too many. Under our new plan, we'll bring that number close to zero by the year 2019. At the request of Governor Mary Fallon, ODOT added 126 bridge projects to its eight year plan, bringing the total number to 539. The commission approved that plan during today's commission meeting. Now, that still leaves 167 bridge projects in need of funding. During the next session, Fallon will ask lawmakers to allocate money from other areas in order to fund those projects. That's hard for us to imagine in Oklahoma. We've been talking about bridges for so long. And for us to say that we're, that she has put forward a plan to eliminate all structurally deficient bridges on the highway system is just a phenomenal deal. The governor says the plan won't raise taxes, fees, or tolls paid by citizens. She will ask lawmakers to raise the amount of revenue from motor vehicle taxes and fees that goes to the county projects from 15% to 20% over the next three years, giving Oklahoma counties an extra $25 million to fix county bridges. Counties will also save money by being able to use about 1,500 recycled steel beams from the Oklahoma City I-40 Crosstown Bridge project. In Tulsa, ODOT will soon begin rehabbing a four-mile section of I-244, as well as replacing some bridge decks. It's going to be the bridges over uh, 169, over Mingo, over uh, 89, and then we'll have a bridge out at. Uh, on the east leg that's out there that goes over 44. In all, more than 40 bridge projects are expected to take place in Tulsa County thanks to that plan. The governor also announced the Turnpike Authority will modernize the Creek Turnpike by expanding it from four lanes to six, all the way from Highway 64 to US 75, in order to make room for additional commercial growth and the added traffic it's expected to bring. While some of these projects won't begin for years, some of them will begin in just the next few months, including improvements to that four mile section of I 244 in Tulsa. Reporting from Oklahoma City, Casey Roebuck, 2 News, works for you.